Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats, and boy, oh boy, today do we have a treat for you and a nightmare for us. So we have done a whole bunch of this type of drink. We've got a whole playlist. It is one of the most controversial types of yeah. things that we have ever reviewed. Why is it controversial? Because we didn't like it, and so it's pretty common for us to get hate comments. Yes. They insult us. They just just anything you can think of they yes. leave these comments and it's fine because you know what we're making money off of it exactly. we'll take the hate because we're also taking the money exactly. from watching it so what kind of drink is it so today we have malta guinness non-alcoholic malt drink high in b vitamins vitality goodness energy now we have done a bunch of maltas a lot of them are from like latin america south america i think we've done maybe one or two from europe but this one is from nigeria so yeah if you guys don't know these malta drinks are very popular in latin america and in africa but Primarily the ones we come across are the ones from Latin America. We've done Malta India. That's the video in which we get a lot of hate. Yes. We've done um, Malta, Malta Goya, Goya, Pony Malta. Malta El Sol. Uh, Caracas. Yeah, yeah, Malta um, Caracas. Um, so many. Yeah, there's so many of these, right? <laughs> and pretty much, I don't think we've liked any of them because um, we always say it tastes like, do you, if you're a dog owner and you your dog went in the rain, and you know how that smell that your dog has from like running around in the rain, like in water, like a wet dog? That smell is how this stuff tastes like. Yes. It's really like just gross. Yes. Some are better than others though, yeah. but none are good. <laughs> yeah, I would say like not really like something that I would buy on a regular basis. Yes. Um, which is interesting because you know like, I would say the Malta is very similar to um, the Voss yeah. from from uh, Eastern Europe, like Russia and all that yes. kind of stuff, because uh, it's like more like a grain or something like that, right? Yeah, like a like a non-alcoholic grain. Yes, exactly. But the Voss, on the whole, has been better tasting. Yeah, way better tasting. This stuff. Now, I've always wanted to get one from Africa because mm -hmm. I was really shocked to find out Malta is very popular in Africa. So. We went to our local African grocery store and we came across Guinness, Malta Guinness, the same, um, I believe, brand as the one from uh, Ireland. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's, I mean, it's the Guinness people. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, like Guinness beer people. Now, what I love is that this has a little description on the can. It says, a unique and delicious non-alcoholic malt drink packed full of the finest ingredients and added vitamins for that guaranteed top of the world feeling. Is that gonna be accurate? I don't know. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. It looks like a Malta. How does it smell? Um, It smells like one, but not as strong. No, as, um, it's not as strong. Yeah. It does smell very like, what is that scent? Uh, almost like black licorice. Yeah. I like black licorice. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down we've been at. So for me, this is a thumbs down. I'm actually surprised because it's not as thick as previous Maltas. Um, this has got a nice sweetness level to it and it's not as strong in wet dog taste but unfortunately this is like a it's like a grainy drink i just don't like it in I, terms of flavor or texture um flavor mm -hmm. i just can't get into it man like the thought of drinking this entire can just i think i would be like throwing it up later because it's not something that i'm into right it's just uh, a non-alcoholic malt drink to me that's just uh <clears throat> just not my thing Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. All right. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I'm very sorry, Nigeria, but you have not made the best Malta. There have definitely been ones that are better. This thing took me on a roller coaster though, because the first flavor that you get with each sip I do not like it. It, it's not 
terrible. It's not the worst, but it's it's very grain. Like you said, like 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 fermented grain or something. It's it's off-putting in the flavor and then it's bitter as it goes across your tongue like there's a a very intense bitterness that you don't get with the other types of malta like those i feel like maybe because they put more sugar in them and they are more of like a almost syrupy kind of drink they they don't have that at least i really did not like the bitterness in here it also kind of feels like my tongue is stripped of all of the moisture in it but then the aftertaste like after i've swallowed and i'm just sitting there with it it's not that bad it yeah. is a little bit like black licorice which i like but then because the carbonation on this is pretty good yeah it starts to bubble up your throat and whenever that happens and then you're for lack of a better phrase you're tasting it again that tastes like vomit though that the the bubbling up aftertaste is straight vomit like it, it's it's not so good. for me i would say this is probably like on the better end of the maltas we've tried because it's not like a thick one i would i would put it for me if the if the better maltas are at, are at like a a six to seven and the the bad ones are at like a one to two i would put this at like a a five you, you know, know what i love the packaging we got to talk about yes that. i do they, love that they make this look like a, a premium drink exactly and i feel like it, it is, you know, it draws you in. It makes you want to buy it. Yeah. I do feel a bit bamboozled though because the packaging makes it look like it's gonna be the best tasting Malta and then it, it doesn't. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.